Some of these Anaheim youngsters have been taking television teaching for two or three years each. I've never had an experience with TV at school before. We want awesome, we want fun, we want everything underneath the sun. With my friends at Anaheim Elementary. Anything is possible, you just wait and see. Today's episode is brought to you by Observation. Hey everybody, my name is Yurib with Inside the Outdoors and we are here at Upper Newport Bay to learn about arthropods. Hey Mark, what's an arthropod? Arthropods are animals that have an exoskeleton, a hard outer covering, they have many pairs of jointed legs, and they also have a segmented body. Yurib, what kind of arthropods might we find? There's so many different arthropods that live out here at Upper Newport Bay. They might be flying in the air, on plants, or even on the ground. Let's go on a bug hunt. What, what is this? What do we find, Mark? Dude, we don't even have magnifying lenses for this guy. Wow. Oh, you know how we were talking about the stink bug family? Yeah. Well, this is a darkling beetle. He's also a part of that family. And remember how we were talking about body segments? Yes. We can really see it here. We have a head, we have the middle part, his thorax, and then the big parts, his abdomen. Oh. These are some of my favorites because they look and feel like one of my favorite candies, the black jelly bean. Black jelly bean? Yeah, man. No, hey, 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 no. Hey, don't yuck my yum, man. No, no, no. Yeah. Now, I That's a cool bug, but black jelly beans, no thank you. Well, well, to each their own. But he wouldn't taste very good. Stink bugs, darkling beetles are known to not taste very well. And, hey, remember that picture we saw up on the trail? Yeah. Where he was sticking his bum in the air? Yeah. Well, what they do is they can actually squirt out this smelly liquid and um, it gets the predators to go away. Ah, yeah. so that's why they're called stink bugs. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. Oh, there he goes. Bye, buddy. What are you looking for, Mark? Well, this is, well, we got a lot going on here, but we have the bladder pod right here. What's the bladder pod? So this is the bladder pod. It has oh, these cool. yellow flowers, and then it has these pods that have seeds in them. You got big ones right there. Oh. And there's a certain bug that loves to hang out on the bladder pod. And that is the... Ant. Could yeah, I... there is an ant. I see uh, that I do ant. See, yeah. I do see some ants there. I think ants are kind of everywhere. But it's, oh no, the harlequin. The harlequin oh, beetle. Awesome. So it's like this little black beetle with orange specks. Um, so I'm looking for bright colors. Well, oh, there's one. Nope, that's just a dead leaf. Hmm. Uh, we might need to go to another plant to see if we can find it. Oh, I found one! Touchdown! I oh, found I one. one. I, I found one. Right Where? Oh! That one has the most orange that we've seen today. Okay, let's see. This is the one you were talking about? Wait a minute. What's the name of this? What's the name of this bug again, Mark? This is the Harlequin bug. It's a member of the real bug family. And it's also related to a stink bug. That one is beautiful. Look at that. It has a little starburst right there. But I have a question for you, Mark, because if I was a bug, I would probably want to blend in a little bit more to plants. And I don't think those bright orange red colors are really kind of doing the trick. Is there another reason for those bright colors? Yeah, so there's two ways to stay safe. One is to hide, right? And the other one is to stand out really brightly. And what you do when you have these, we call them warning colors, they're warning everyone that you are poisonous. What? Or venomous. What? Depends. Now, sometimes it's a lie. Sometimes you're just pretending to be dangerous, and sometimes you're not. Like the monarch butterfly. Oh, that's a beautiful one, too. Oh, that uh, is The monarch good one. butterfly has bright colors, and it tastes really, really bad. Okay. So predators don't really like to eat it. Oh, you. Oh, that's the biggest one we've seen. So, what you're saying is if I was a bird and I love bugs for breakfast, and I saw this one, I would notice the bright colors on it, and that would tell me it, it, I'd probably want to stay away from it. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, warning colors, stay away. 
either tastes bad, poisonous, venomous, pretty much it's going to ruin your breakfast no matter what. Now, is it true, Mark, that these are also kind of in the group of, um, there's a group of bugs called stink bugs? Yeah, yeah, they are. I don't know if they actually have a stink, but they are in the family. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, now, if we're talking about insects, though, are there things that, because this one's, you know, all these bright colors and all, like, do they have things in common? Like the ants that we saw and these insects here? Yeah, so they're all in the greater arthropod family. So arthropods are animals that have an exoskeleton. Okay. So a hard outer covering, kind of like a crab, right? So every part of their body is covered in something hard. And they also have jointed legs, many pairs of jointed legs. Like you have jointed legs, your knee, right? And your ankles. My fingers. And so do they, your fingers, yeah. So joints are like your knuckles or your wrist or your elbow or your shoulder or your knees or your ankles. All right, and the third thing is they have a segmented body. Segmented body. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's a little harder on beetles. Beetles tend to hide it pretty well, but they have a head. You can see the head. I do and then see the this head. one, it has a thorax. So right here, the top part. Oh. Did he fall? He's right here. So the part that looks like shoulder pads, that's his thorax. And then the rest of the part kind of looks like wings. That's going to be the abdomen. So this particular arthropod has three body segments head, thorax, oh. abdomen. Oh, Gotcha. And it also has six legs and two antenna. So these are arthropods and they're in the insect family. Mark, check this out. Look, Wait, look, 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 look at this, look what? at this, look at this. You see this? Yeah. See this white it's... stuff right here on the cactus, prickly pear cactus? Oh, yeah. Okay, now. Know. It looks like a marshmallow. When I, it does look like a marshmallow. Are you thinking of s'mores? I am. Yeah, I think you are. But this is definitely not s'mores. So this is a protective covering that an insect called the cochineal bug. Wait, wait, wait. Cochineal. 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 It reminds me of like purses, like coach and Cochin cheneal. Yes, yes. It's exactly cochineal. like that. Cochineal. But, but when you kind of spread it out a little bit, you'll see there's a kind of a red coloring to it. Yeah. And this is actually a natural red dye. And it was even used by Native Americans hundreds and of years ago. Um, well, what's even crazier is the fact that it's still used today. Wait, well, so in, in what? foods, drinks. So it's like natural food coloring. Oh. Isn't that they, interesting? And they use it for like blankets and stuff today yeah. too? Yeah, for like fabric. Fabrics? Yep, oh. yep. So like a red blanket, this would be a way to kind of color it really? using this natural dye of the cochineal. I've always wondered how they do that. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So, but normally you're going to find this around this cactus. Now, here's the thing though. The cactus doesn't really want them around because what they're doing is they're actually sucking the, the nutrients from the cactus oh. to survive. And that helps them build that, that white outer covering. And, you know, they're taking the nutrients away. So oh. it's kind of a pest for the cactus, but it's really cool to, to kind of see, you know, what, what they do in that red coloring as well. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Everybody's got to eat something, right? Everybody's got to eat something. So it's just another really cool insect or arthropod that we find at Upper Newport Bay. Oh, cool.
hey, Mark, that was, I mean, Dude. all Dude. the things that we got to see outdoors throughout Orange County, yeah. over Newport Bay, Shipley Nature Center, uh, we were looking for a lot of different things. I'm just really excited to- Hey, guys. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me uh, catch my breath here. Dr. Downing, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today for our backyard missions. Happy to be here. So what we're talking about, some of the animals that are native to Orange County, some that yes. are not native. Okay. But we're learning all, all about their adaptations. We're learning about what makes them unique. Exciting. Certain areas and habitats. And we'd love for you to meet some of them. Oh, yeah. I would love to meet them. You ready for this? Ready. Are you ready for it? I think I'm ready. I, yeah, all right. I, I, I hope okay. you're ready. Here we go. All, all right. right. So, so Yurib's going to get our first friend okay. for you to meet. All but, right. Um, what do you know about arthropods or insects? Well, I know that they have an exoskeleton. That's great. Yeah, right? they do. And joints. Joint. Yeah, jointed yes. legs, exoskeleton. Now, how many legs do insects have? Hmm. I know spiders have eight. Ah, uh, yeah. Spiders have eight. Insects have six. Yes. So, the way you can tell the difference is one, the exoskeleton, you're right. All of them, spiders and insects have exoskeletons. Insects have three body segments, so a head, thorax, abdomen. All right. And six legs, two antenna. Yes. Arachnids, mm -hmm. like spiders. Right. They have two body segments, a cephalothorax. Okay. An abdomen, and then eight legs. You're right. totally right. So we have some friends. Some of them are insects. Some are not insects. Okay. Some are arachnids but they're all arthropods. Sounds exciting. It is exciting. Right. So, oh, you ready for this one? I hope so. So here's something that's kind of fun to do. If you all want right. to close your eyes, okay. your ribs behind me, yes. when he says open your eyes, go ahead and open your eyes, okay. and then you can look at the animal, Yes. and if you want, you can even pet the animal, and your will show you how to do that. Okay. You ready? You sure? I'm, I'm ready. All right, cool. All right. All right, Dr. Downey, so you have those eyes closed. They're closed. So we have our friend that's right over here. So okay. on the count of three, you're gonna open your eyes and look right. straight down. Ready, here we go. One, two, and three. Oh. Whoa. Oh. So I'm glad that you were talking about the number of legs with insects versus arachnids, which is what this group falls into the category. Uh, now they're all arthropods, insects and arachnids. Arachnids are the, the spiders, the scorpions. Mm -hmm. So the eight legs, the two body parts and Dr. Downing, do you think that we have tarantulas that are native to Orange County? What would your guess be? Yes. There are. They are native to Orange County. They usually come out at nighttime, and they look a little bit different. This one's not native to California, but okay. it looks pretty close to what you might see uh, throughout the, the areas in Orange County. Uh, so a couple really cool things. First of all, all right. what, do you, what do you notice? What stands out when you're looking at the tarantula? Hairs sticking up the hairs right yes. so and for this species especially the hairs are a little bit extra um the length is a little bit longer so okay. it's a curly hair tarantula yes um now why do you think they have those hairs is it something that it uses to defend itself mm -hmm. is it just for decoration just because it looks nice what would your guess be maybe to sense so absolutely they're absolutely maybe? they're really sensitive to vibration okay so if there's things that want to come by and eat the tarantula yes they can definitely sense that with their hairs anything else that you notice that you're curious about or it stands out besides those long hairs it's just huge it's a it's a pretty big arachnid <laughs> yes. absolutely absolutely so now i know that there's a lot of kids out there that are wondering tarantulas you know what do they feel like? Is it something that, are, are they dangerous? So first of all, I would not be holding anything that's gonna be really dangerous okay. to people around us. The venom in a tarantula is I'm about the same. That. Uh, that's the first thing, right? <laughs> yes. So, and this is something that helped me out as well. The okay. venom in a tarantula is about the same strength as a bee sting. Oh, okay. So the venom is not really strong enough to actually cause damage to humans, right. especially adult humans. Okay. Uh, but I know that some people might be curious to know what it feels like. All right. What it feels like. So here's what I'd like you to do, okay. if you're comfortable with it. All right. Now, the big part of the body right here is known as the abdomen, right there at the back. Okay. So you can take one finger and you All can right. very gently, very gently, just a quick little brush right here. Okay. Okay. And I, I'm going to have it right here. They don't jump. Right. Perfect. Oof. That's all perfect. Right. Dr. Downing. Okay. Yeah. So, so tell all the kids that are watching right yes. now. Uh, how would you describe what you just felt? Well, first of all, boys and girls, I want to tell you, I probably grew up not really loving arachnids. Right, right. Yep. So this is, uh, it was fun. 
just to touch him and to feel it, it's really firm. Okay. And uh, I mean, you can tell maybe there's venom in there. Right, right. And, and you, I heard you telling Mark, my friend Mark, about the exoskeleton. So that's yes. maybe that firm feeling that mm -hmm. you're describing as well. Uh, so the hairs, I'm sure that you felt the hairs when you yeah. uh, pet him as well. Some people describe it as a, maybe a little bit like a kiwi. I don't okay. know if you've ever felt a key yes. to the outside. It's right. got some hairs, a little bit furry. Yes. It's got that firm feeling. Would you I agree, would with, agree that? with that? Yeah, okay. So, and anything else that you notice about our friend, the tarantula? Her name's Shirley, by the way. Well, uh, Shirley seems to really be on the move. She's definitely on the move. Yes. Absolutely. Do you think that she can see you and me from where she is in my hand? What would your guess be? Yes. Absolutely. So you can look closely right there. Those are her eyes right on the top. Uh -huh. Because with tarantulas, they have predators that are usually coming from above. Right. Right. So they want to see all around them, pretty much a 360 view. And again, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. the hair, really sensitive to vibration. <laughs> and you see that right there. <laughs> yes. That was actually because of my breath. Okay. So they, she felt my breath coming as I'm speaking. All right. Which, again, really, really sensitive. Okay. So Fantastic Well, good job. thing I brushed my teeth before there I came. There you go. <laughs> I could not agree with you more. So right. same thing with me, right? So right. luckily it's a little yes. bit longer after lunch. Uh, so any other questions that you have about our tarantula friend, Shirley, that you might be curious about? Well, since we're overcoming fear. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, could Shirley quickly <laughs> climb across so, my hand? So here's what you can do. You can okay. go ahead and put your hand straight just like this. All perfect. Right. Perfect. Hopefully just like it's this. not shaking. Perfect. Just like this. And you can see here that she's going to crawl on your hand a little bit with my hand as well and just go right across into my hand just like that and you might even feel <laughs> now what did what did you feel well i felt scared but yeah yeah no absolutely <laughs> no, absolutely but you could feel her did you feel like legs. little tiny hooks yes. too yeah so that's yes. another way that they actually you don't see a lot of spiders falling because they have these little tiny hooks that's how it allows them to climb up walls and different right. areas as well so yeah. Appreciate that. No, thank that, you. That, that's fantastic. Right. So, boys and girls, as you can see, your superintendent was brave enough to meet our friend Shirley. I think we should have him meet some more friends. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's go ahead and do Bye, that. Bye, Shirley. There we go. That was awesome. Yes. Good it was. You. That was cool. You ready for our next one? I think so. This one uh, mm. doesn't have the same, like, spider effect. Okay. But this might be one that still might make you a little uncomfortable. Are All right. Ready? I'm ready. Oh, this is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Yes. And what do you notice right off the bat? Uh, two tone. Yeah. Goes uh, almost black to right. a lighter brown. Six legs. You Very great observation. There are yes. six legs. Antennae. Mm hmm. And just its uh, third section is huge. Yeah. yeah. And I'm glad that you were able to notice that there are three sections because mm -hmm. this is an insect. Right. But it makes it hard. It almost looks like there's almost 20 sections. It does. And so something I like to do okay. is show you that we have a head. Mm -hmm. The thorax are where the legs attach. Yes. And then we have the abdomen. Do you right. want to scratch your belly? Okay. Does this one have a name? This is Mrs. Banana Peel. Hi, Mrs. Banana Peel. Because right. she eats banana peels. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> so... Something most people don't know. See those black dots? Yes. Those are actually holes. They're called spiracles. Okay. And that's how they breathe. They ah. breathe through their sides. All right. So we shouldn't touch them probably well, on the black dots or is no, that okay? No, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine? Cause, okay. Yeah. Because there's so many of them. Right. But yeah, you can go ahead and pet her. Okay. I don't know. And then, do you see her I like face? Shirley too. So yeah. So I Mrs. Banana Peel. But... Look at her legs. We were talking about the hooks on the yes. ends of Shirley's feet. These ones have a lot. What are you feeling about this one? You feeling like you could hold this one? Well, I have a question. Yeah. How many eyes? Ooh, that's a great question. Can you notice? I think so. I, I see two. Yeah, I see two as well. So just two eyes, okay. two antenna, six legs, three body segments, and a pretty crunchy exoskeleton. Yes, very crunchy. Yeah, this is very good armor. Mm -hmm. This is one of the ways they protect themselves. The other one mm -hmm. is in the name, okay. the hissing. So when they get scared, they flatten their body out and they push air out these spiracles oh. and it makes that hissing sound. Okay. And it's actually pretty loud. I'm sure. So um, just like a rattlesnake, it scares things away with yes. the rattle. 
They're hiss. Okay. It's when you're not ready for it, it's startling. It will surprise yeah. you. But it's really hard to get them to do it when they're used to people. Now, can I let it yeah. climb across? You want to do the back of the hand? Well, whatever works best. Let's go in the palm. Okay. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, she doesn't want to let go. There we go. Oh. Do you feel all I do. I feel yeah. it's hooking. Yeah. And now I see the antenna or there's some shaking. Yeah, there's like a little mouth part. Mm -hmm. She can't bite you. Okay. But well, that's good. To there's know. like a little <laughs> part of her mandible that is down there. You yes. can kind of see it there. Oh, Just okay. like an ant. An ant, if we blew up the head right. to bigger, yes. it would look a lot like that. Wow. Have you ever watched Honey, I Shrunk the Kids yes. back in the day? Yes. That's kind of what mm -hmm. uh, Auntie looks like. Yes. Awesome. Hey, well, that's terrific. You ready to meet another one? I am. All right. All right this is fun. Okay. Close my eyes. Close your eyes. All I right. think that's something that we can keep doing for that reaction. Okay. So, now, you met the tarantula that we know we have in Orange County. Yes. You met a Madagascar hissing cockroach, which yes. is actually not native. It's an island off the coast of Africa. And okay. so the next animal is not native, but there is a species that is native, okay. very similar in Orange County. So on the count of three, ready? One, two, and three. Oh. oh. All right. So tell me your reaction. <laughs> tell me what you're observing right now. What's the first thought that comes to mind? Um, hundreds of legs, it looks like. Right, right. Definitely it's lots of legs. Very large. Very large, absolutely, absolutely. Anything and else that you notice or observe? Um, it almost looks like a worm, right? except with legs. A worm with legs, that's yes. a great description. And so this is what we call a giant millipede. Yes. Right, so there are centipedes and millipedes. Centipedes have those legs that are, their bodies are a lot flatter, um, they stick out more. Right. And so their legs are closer to centipede, closer to 100. Yes. And then the millipede is supposed to be for 1,000, but in reality, their legs is closer to three to 400 legs, which okay. is still quite a bit. That is. Think? That's a lot All of right. legs. All right. So go ahead and feel that exoskeleton. And I definitely want to let you know that Ooh. not venomous. Right. They do not bite. Really important animals yeah. to have. It looks like it would be soft, but okay. you can really feel the exoskeleton. The exoskeleton, right? Yes. So pretty, uh, pretty good armor that it has yeah. on its body. Feels like armor. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen roly polies whenever yes. you've been out, maybe visiting <laughs> yes. school sites, right. right? Seeing kids looking in the dirt. Yes. So a lot of times I like to think when that When I was younger, I might have played with th roly polies. There you go, right? absolutely. That's what we want to <laughs> yes. do, right? Explore and look at different insects. Right. So think of it as a giant, longer version of a roly-poly. Okay. Because if they feel threatened, what they're going to do is they're going to curl up. Oh. And there's actually a little chemical that they can emit that mm -hmm. makes them have a bad taste. So if animals oh. are trying to eat them. Okay. So it's not venom. Right. Uh, they don't have fangs to bite. It's really defending themselves by curling up for that mm -hmm. uh, that protection of the exoskeleton, as well as tasting really It's almost really like bad. what a skunk does in terms exactly. of defense, right? Exactly. Okay. So now what are you feeling as far as, uh -huh. would you like to feel all those legs yes. and what they feel like? Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and put your hand out just okay. like this. Again, not venomous. There's uh, nothing, they're, they don't bite as all well. Right. And it's actually a really interesting feeling just having that many legs just right. crawling on your hands. Well, tell, it, tell everyone what you're feeling right now. Feels like three to 400 legs are feels, walking feels across like, my hand. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So as you can yes. see, using the antenna to kind of feel around, yes. uh, really sensitive to, to vibrations. Um, again, these are animals that are native to Orange County, okay. but there's a smaller version of it. Right. So these are giant millipedes that we have. And does this one have a name? So this one, I believe is, let's see, Mark, what is the name of our millipede friend that we have today? That's Millie. This is oh, Millie. Millie, that's Millie easy the, to remember. Millie the millipede. Hi, Millie. Millie the millipede. So you can see how they hang on. Yes. And you can, almost like a wave of legs mm -hmm. as they're walking by. And they walk very slow. Very and slow. Right? Very slow. But also decomposers, so they break down a lot of the the organic material that falls to the ground. Okay. So important to have. Very important for the ecosystem. All right. right? So. By Millie. There you all go. Right. There you go. See, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Not too bad all at right. all. All right. So you're after the tarantula, I think we're good. There you go. It's all, <laughs> all uphill from here, right? All right. Absolutely. All right. Are you ready to meet something else? I'm ready. All I'll right. I'll close my go. eyes. There okay. you go. Perfect. Actually, I want to do something a little different. All right. Are you ready? Since ready. you're so brave and you're like, oh, it's all downhill, okay. how would you like to have the animal in your hand before you saw it this time? 
Okay, I trust you. So yes, it's actually <laughs> multiple right. animals. <laughs> okay, but if we'll you want to clap your hands, all right, and close your eyes, and let's go over the table just a little okay. bit more. These are some good friends. Okay. They're going to be in your hand right now. Ooh. All right, and go ahead and open your eyes. <laughs> These are mealworms. Okay. These are the larvae yes. of some beetles. All right. So just like caterpillars, these will turn into adults. Okay. So they start out as eggs, then they come into the larva state. Right. Which is like a butterfly's caterpillar. Mm-hmm. Then the pupa is like a chrysalis. Yes. And then the adult beetle or the butterfly. So the same life cycle, those four stages. Right. You're doing a great job. Do you want to pass them off? Or are you doing all right? I'm doing okay. Cool. So if with one finger you just want to touch one, okay. how does that feel? A little like a caterpillar and uh, you can feel the exoskeleton. Uh, they look soft, but again, mm -hmm. they have sort of this hard shell. Yeah. And the shell, what it reminds me of is when you're eating popcorn and uh -huh. you get a little bit of the kernel shell yes. still. That's kind of the consistency it feels like to me. Okay. Where it's like, right. it's hard, but it's kind of springy, mm -hmm. but it's, yeah. And what's really cool is they have those six legs and two antenna, and right. then their abdomen is really long. Okay. Like you notice with the um, yeah. cockroach, right. but with these ones. And yeah. they're trying to escape. Oh, they are. <laughs> if you want to just come down into the bowl and okay. open your hands up. All right. And they will just fall out. They won't get hurt. Perfect. Might have to wiggle one off. Okay, one wants to stay with me. They're, they're all on you. <laughs> oh, man, you're doing a great job. Sorry, friends. Where's he still there? All right. All right, okay. so we got them. Now, now we can observe them a little bit. What all do right. you notice about them? What, what stands out to you? Well, they're um, multiple colors. Yeah. Um, they all, it looks like the head are black on most mm -hmm. of them. Yeah and um, their lengths vary. I'm mm -hmm. sure that's because of the age. It could be, yeah. Or, yeah. Um, and they just uh, appear to always be moving. They're always moving, Exploring yeah. their surroundings. They're also really hungry. You know okay. the book, The Hungry Caterpillar? Yes, I do. <laughs> you know, they're the same way. Okay. They actually, where we keep them, we just have a bunch of oatmeal. And uh -huh. they live inside the oatmeal, and they're just eating all day long. Right. Um, and so what I like about them is how shiny they are. Yes. They're really shiny. But so these are the larva or the caterpillars. Okay. Would you like to see what the adult looks like? I would love to. You read? All right. Maybe we can keep these ones here too so we can see the difference. Okay. All right. So now if you're thinking of this turning into something that's a little bit bigger, yes. what would your guess be that it might look like? So we know that it's going to be some sort of arthropod. Mm -hmm. You've mentioned exoskeletons on a few of the different animals that we brought. Right. What would be your guess on the, the look of the animal once they're fully grown? Just because it's a larva, maybe almost like a butterfly. Like a butterfly? Yes. All right. A here moth. We go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. One, two, and three. So what do you think? <laughs> that totally compared different to that. than what I thought. Completely different. Completely right? different. Now, this is one of the most common beetles that we have in Orange County. Okay. So a lot of times, especially a lot of the students that might uh, be visiting us on field trips, yes. might see these out on trails when we're hiking with them. Right. And these are called darkling beetles. Darkling oh, beetles. Completely harmless. Right. So they don't bite. They don't fly, which is something, you know, that's great. We don't right. have to worry about them flying off. Uh, some people do call them stink bugs. Okay. Because there is a chemical that they can emit, ah. again, for predators, a little bit right. like the millipede that we met a little bit earlier. Now, do they admit that when they become the beetle? So they, they emit it when they feel threatened. Okay. So they emit so. it. Yep. And there's a little smell to them that you can, you okay. can get being this close to them. So what you'll notice is the abdomen, that big part yes. of their body, if they feel threatened, it'll actually stick it up in the air. Okay. Almost like they want to do a handstand. Right. And that allows other predators to know, okay, this is probably something I don't want to eat because okay. it might not taste great. It right. might not smell great. But again, really important to have because as arthropods, they break down dead things out in the wild, right. in uh, natural spaces. And you can see that they're completely harmless, just really curious, like a lot of your students. So if you see them doing a handstand, cover your nose? That's right. That's All right. right. Okay. There might be something that smells nearby, <laughs> right. and it could be our darkling beetle friends. Okay. So now, how are you feeling as far as letting this one uh, 
meet you a little bit closer. I feel good. He's right. adventurous. He's moving around a He's lot. Definitely Let's adventurous. give it a try. And so as you see, for me, it's just moving our hands, making okay. sure that they understand they have somewhere to crawl right. to. And there you go. And just having another, yep, just like that. It's going from one hand to the next. Okay. No handstand yet. No handstand yet. All I right. think I think you're doing a fantastic job. Okay. Keep you might up. be leading a hike with us pretty soon. Well, Mr. I'm looking Downing. forward to that. Th there you go. Okay. Now, what are you feeling right now? Describe to the students that are watching, what does it feel like when it's crawling on your hands? Uh, just a little tickle. A little tickle? Okay. You know, it, it, it's not very heavy. Okay. But you can really feel each leg you know you can feel all six of them absolutely so absolutely and this is actually a great visual to see yes. that there's three body parts right. the head the thorax right in the middle and yes. the abdomen is that big part that's a really great visual of what an insect's going to have those three body parts it's just amazing uh, the transformation isn't that fantastic it really so is. a little bit like caterpillars and butterflies yes. you can see that there is a big change when they go through that life cycle as a beetle Bye, buddy. All right. All right. Fantastic job. So again, native okay. to Orange County. Yes. We can find them out in trails, completely harmless, but very, very important to have right. in our local ecosystems. Well, I think it's great that you're sharing that these are native to Orange County, and you're also telling us which ones, like if I saw one. Oh, yeah that I should approach or should not approach, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. And all the animals that we work with, that Mark work, works with, I work with, yes. these are animals that either are rescues, we work with them constantly. Right. So we're not out there on trails just picking up animals in the wild because right. that's not something that's safe for them no. or us, and we want everyone to be safe. Okay. All right. All right. We appreciate you coming and hanging oh, out with this us was and great. facing some of your fears. Oh, yes. Um, never thought I would yeah. have a chance to actually hold a tarantula so yeah, there you I, go. I just appreciate it and boys and girls you're going to have a great time when you get this opportunity believe me it's fun <laughs>